Hello and welcome to the class. Today we will discuss the definition of testing. So let's get started. The definition of testing is the process consisting of all life cycle activities, both static and dynamic, concerned with planning, preparation and evaluation of software products and related work products to determine that they satisfy specified requirements, to demonstrate that they are fit for purpose and to detect defects. So this definition is a little too long and complicated. So what I will do is break it into two halves and explain each in detail so you understand the whole thing. But before we do that, you should always remember that testing is a process and not an activity. A process is a collection of activities. When we are testing, we are carrying out a process and in that process, various activities are executed. So that is the first point to remember. Now let's focus on the first half of this definition. The points below are related to the activities that are involved in testing. The first point goes like this. Testing consists of all life cycle activities. This means that when you are developing a software, you will do the testing of the product. But once it gets handed over to the users or customers, the testing won't stop. They will continue with an indirect type of testing, where they will use the product and give the company feedback. If they find a defect during their use, they will contact customer care. And then the product will be sent back and you will have to fix the problem. So as long as the software is in use, it is under testing. This is the first point in our definition. The next point is that testing is both static and dynamic. You might remember this diagram from an earlier video. Before you hand over the software you develop to the user, you put it through a process which is called testing. This testing can be static or dynamic. As the name suggests, with static, you aren't running the software. With dynamic, you are running the software. That's how these two types of testing come into play. So testing is a life cycle activity and it can be both static and dynamic. The third point is that testing is concerned with planning and preparation. Before you start testing, you have to create a roadmap. When you will begin, when you will analyze your requirements, when you will implement your test cases, when the testing will end and when the software will be released. This is how the third point comes into play. Testing is concerned with planning and preparation. The fourth and final point under the activities half of this definition is evaluation of software products. This means that you have to constantly evaluate the work products you get to check if they are working correctly. So these were the four activities under testing. The first was all life cycle activities. The second was both static and dynamic. The third was concerned with planning preparation. And the last was evaluation of software products. The second half of the definition focuses on the objective of testing. The first objective is to determine that they satisfy specified requirements. Here, we determine whether we have fulfilled all the requirements given to us by the customer. This is concerned with satisfying specified requirements. The second objective is to demonstrate that they are fit for the purpose. This means that the product you have developed needs to work correctly every single time you use it. The first time, the second time, the third time. You have to demonstrate that the product is working as intended for the customer. The final objective is to detect defects. This is the main purpose of testing. We try to find defects and make sure that the risk of using the software is minimal. So that is all for the definition of testing. I will see you in the next video. Happy testing.